Hello. A few days ago, I featured these uh, Silvercrest DAB radios, which I converted to be uh, a tuner. And uh, they work very well. But uh, there was a couple of things that have been pointed out by viewers who have watched it. And one in particular is I made a mistake, uh, which didn't matter too much, but uh, is worth pointing out and make sure that anybody who does, does this modification does it as well as they can. The other thing is I seem to have pretty much solved the uh, aerial and reception problems by connecting a simple external antenna to this uh, socket which I had added to the radio in my previous video. But uh, where I made a mistake was when I changed the position of the DC blocking capacitor I hadn't taken proper account of the uh, impedances it was going to be feeding as a result of which I'd have had um, an excessive roll-off of base frequencies under around about 90 Hertz which in many cases you wouldn't have noticed but it's still you know let's fix it so i'm going to alter the resistor values in this uh, to uh, improve that uh, base response and i'm also going to point something out on the pcb about the way the um, aerial is connected so uh, let's get stuck in these were my original scribblings and so just to uh, cut to the chase here ignoring the uh, thing that disconnected the speaker from it, uh, I have uh, a amplifier in here which has a DC level and we're uh, sat on the, the terminal so we're going to um, need to filter that and my original plan was I was going to have a, an attenuator of two resistors then a DC blocking capacitor going to an output but the failing with that was that there was going to be a resistive path potentially upsetting the operation of the amplifier. So I changed it and put the capacitor here and then the DC blocking is ahead of the, fil the um, uh, attenuator. But I hadn't really taken into account the fact that the attenuator resistors are relatively low value uh, and therefore the capacitor um, would have to be very large value in order to not hit problems with low frequency response. So this effectively is a um, RC filter. So if you look at um, an RC filter, a uh, high pass filter, you have a capacitor and a resistor and this is your source and this is the output. And we're going to consider that the in this case, the resistor or the, the impedance here that we see on the output here is 10K or more. So we're going to consider that to be high value and not of importance. So um, we're just going to look at the capacitor we, and resistor we use internally. And we, I had 4.7 microfarad capacitor and I was using uh, 180 ohm resistors. So I had 360 ohms here from these two 180 ohm resistors that the capacitor was seeing. And the roll-off frequency for that, you can work it out yourself from this uh, calculation. The frequency is the reciprocal of 2 pi RC. And it comes out around, you can do it with a calculator or there's some online calculators, comes out around about 94 hertz, which uh, it might be as low as DAB radio actually goes, but it might be that DAB radio could go a little bit lower than that. So ideally you wanted to lower it. So what I did, just on my the other one of these, my dad's one, I changed these to 1K each. And so now our resistor became 2K. And the roll-off frequency then is way down. I'll do it with the calculator just to prove I can. So it would be... R, in this case 2000 ohms now, times C, which was 4.7 um, to the minus 6, um, times pi, times 2, and take the reciprocal of that. And now we're down to, what, 17 hertz. So even if it was 20 hertz uh, bottom frequency, we've got that pretty much covered. But with the original circuit, I had a 360 ohm load and a 4.7 microfarad capacitor um, times 2 times pi uh, reciprocal, 94 hertz. 
in this particular unit, the second one I had, I only have 2.2 uh, microfarad capacitors. So with 2K resistors in there, what do I get? 36 hertz, which is, I'm sure, absolutely fine for any transmission you're actually going to get on DAB. So I'm going to change resistors in here to 1K. Now that's a little higher than ideal in some respects because... Uh, 1k resistor here and 10k resistor there is only sort of one order of magnitude apart um, yeah maybe in an ideal world it would be nice if we could have a slightly lower source uh, impedance but uh, 1k works I know that so uh, we'll do that it's worth mentioning of course so it's not like uh, you know the ideal filter there's a diagram on Wikipedia where you know you of a high frequency filter where you get that sort of response in frequency here uh, in reality, of course, you get sort of this sort of thing, and you're looking at the uh, 3dB point. So it's not like everything just drops at that um, cutoff frequency, but uh, clearly it's it's the point we want to be looking at that uh, we want to be aiming for not too much attenuation uh, before the minimum frequency you're going to see on a transmission. Right, I've modified my attenuator resistors to be 1k ohm. Now, there's something else I wanted to show you um, about the way the aerial connects to the uh, main PCB here. So I'll get the microscope and let you see that a little bit closer. Looking here at the PCB where the antenna comes in, so this is the one I've replaced a wire. There was just a single piece of wire from here. I've replaced it with a coaxial connector. Ground there, signal there. But you can see on the board there was uh, a place for diode D7, which was never in installed, presumably because they had the wire antenna. There was no need for any protection diodes or anything there. So I suspect it might be nice to have fitted a diode here between this ground plane and the signal, uh, possibly, possibly to protect it against um, incoming voltages. But uh, looking at it, it's a three terminal device. So I'm gonna hazard a guess that there uh, should be a, a cathode and an anode here to a common point uh, so that you have a diode facing both ways. So that might be nice to add, but um, of course we don't know exactly what kind of diode was there before. You could presumably add a capacitor in series with the antenna, but that could have some undesirable effects too. So I'd say if you're going to make this modification, um, only do so with an antenna that's not going to be connected to any other equipment that could force voltages down it. Only do so to a simple sort of dipole, uh, nothing with an amplifier. So this is the uh, simple dipole aerial I bought uh, on eBay. Uh, I think it was about £11, which is a lot considering how much this whole thing cost in the first place. It doesn't work very well indoors, but I did find there was one part of the house I could stick this um, and I got really good signal strength. So. Uh, that's a good solution for the antenna problem. I just need to mount this in that place outside and, and run a long cable into where the receiver is going to sit. Well, I hope that's been useful, doing the small add-on work for this uh, DAB radio. Of course, you'll need to see the first part of this uh, video to make any sense of it. Um, you'll notice I've got uh, logos on my T-shirts now. They've been bought from a company locally. I'll uh, include the link in the description below. Also, big logo on the back. I'll do plenty more content on audio and video technology in the near future. Bye for now.